around six months ago, we had come to this exact garage, Sportech, and we had covered a really cool looking L15 swapped Honda Brio, as well as that thing over there in the back, a rear wheel drive mid-engine Swift. But today, we wanted to cover one of the first K24 swaps in India. This here is a Honda Jazz. It's been swapped with a K24 and it's built to race spec. So I'm going to tell you all about this amazing build over here. So let's directly talk about what everyone is interested about. This here is a K24 swap. The hood is basically, I mean, so light and it has these massive vents to, you know, like dissipate the heat and stuff. But the main talking point is this thing over here. K24, it's been picked up from a 2008 plus Honda Accord. The build has been mainly done by the boys at Blackworks in Bangalore. So uh, their whole team flew down from Bangalore, did the swap. And ever since then, Sportech has been doing small mods here and there and maintaining the car properly. And this is a full race spec car. Currently, it's running a GT Tuner's Tune, uh, a Blackworks full stainless steel DCAT exhaust system an HPI intake and it's making roughly about 204 horsepower and 220 newton meters of torque and considering that it only weighs 1120 kilos that's a lot of power for not a lot of car and if the engine is very impressive and doing all this is impressive more impressive is the suspension setup and how this thing has been set up because that's what this thing is actually about yes this might be cool but the whole package is what we're here to talk about So this being a race car, the main emphasis has to be on the suspension, brakes, wheels, tires. So currently it's running an F-tuned race spec suspension, which of course has to be adjustable. It has ultra racing sway bars, ultra racing front strut bar, ultra racing rear X brace, and it has hard racing ball joints and sway bar links as well. Now behind these lovely looking Lenzo 17 inch Venom wheels, you have D2 8 piston 330mm brakes with steel braided lines, Dixel pads, uh, and you have these super sticky semi-slicks from MRF called the ZTR tire and this is basically the same tire that they use in a lot of UK racing championships and best believe that this thing is going to be super grippy on track because it also has an M factory LSD and it has a racing final drive from H and it has a racing final drive from Edge drive so it is going to be super sticky and super grippy on the track and they've basically been able to completely delete the understeer because front wheel drive car with a heavy engine in front it's bound to understeer but with this super nice suspension setup the sticky tires and in fact the tire setup is staggered so the front is wider than the rear uh, 335 uh, section front tires versus 315 section rear tires so yeah this has to be a super super fun car to drive on track Karan who is the owner of this car has been able to do draggy and all of that stuff so it does roughly six seconds for the 0 to 100 kph sprint and if i'm not wrong the fastest lap that he's been able to put in at bic with this thing is around two minutes and 30 seconds which is absolutely rapid for something like this so of course it being a race car it has to be fully committed on the inside as well so i'll do my best to hop in in the most grace yeah Pretty difficult to get in as you can see because of this Beltonic uh, racing bucket seat and it has these massive bolsters over here on the side because of course it being a race car you know you need good support around your waist and your thighs and all of that so you don't like move around in the car while going in a turn. Uh, apart from that it has an HPI four point racing harness as well and it has this half roll cage over here in the back but apart from that this is more or less a pretty much stock interior if you uh, disregard the lack of back seats and a boot carpet and all of that stuff uh, it just has this kill switch over here and a fire extinguisher uh, in the passenger footwell but apart from that it's pretty much stock on the inside uh, talking about the exterior well again the exterior doesn't have that much to make it stand out I mean, it's that sort of a car where if you know, you know. Of course, the front hood vents are super aggressive, so that's the first giveaway. 
but apart from that it looks pretty much stock on the outside as well it has this hockenheim silver paint job which is inspired by bmw it has the lenzo 17 inch venom wheels which are in this like cool rose gold pinky kind of color uh, of course the interior has this nice red upholstery you know to give it that type r kind of vibe uh in the rear you have a spoon motorsport inspired uh carbon fiber rear spoiler which looks pretty cool but apart from that it's pretty much stock on the outside as well a couple of things i forgot to mention it gets these slick looking spoon motorsport replica mirrors and these five holes you see in the bumper those are actually vents for the air intake to pull in air but enough messing about how does this thing feel So step 1 uh, obviously is putting on this HPI 4 point racing harness so just click all of the buckles into place and just like that we're good to go This thing is so fast. So this ticking noise if you just heard, uh that is actually the M factory LSD that I was talking about and this is a race spec differential. So it's super aggressive, something that you definitely don't want to drive on the street. And Karan as you know, he's like into racing, pretty heavy. <laughs> You've already seen one of his builds on the channel, the L15 Swap Brio, and that in and of itself was so impressive. But this, this was his first ever car in general. This 2010 Honda Jazz, and in 2018 he decided to just make it into a race car. Put in this K24 engine, bought a Brio, put the old engine of the Jazz into the Brio, and he basically created this amazing build. brakes oh my god it feels like your eyes are going to pop out of your head that's how much braking force this thing has and as much as this thing is about the engine with its k24 swap and all of that stuff the real magic is in the way this thing handles this lsd just loves to put the power down This F-tune suspension is just so adjustable. I mean, right now it's pretty stiff for the road because, of course, current takes this to BIC and to autocross events and all of that. But it can be softened up if you want to use it on the street. But I like it like this. Fully committed. You're bouncing all over the place, and the steering is so quick, so direct. The pedals are also in the perfect place for heel and towing. This thing is a dream to drive. and these d2 brakes you want to see the brakes oh <laughs> i think so dawal just flew out of his seat right now
brakes are insane. Piston 330 mm brakes. I think so. The next mod or the next car I get, I'm gonna do six piston 330 mm brakes because as much as acceleration is fun, I'm finding it more fun to brake in this car because of the sensation of just like braking. I mean that's just wild and this whining noise that you can hear after I lift off the throttle that is the final drive because of course he's changed that for I'm guessing a higher top speed because this thing is. Being regularly tracked around BIC, BIC has a lot of long straights. So to be competitive, or to get a good time over there, you need to have a car with a decent top speed. So I'm pretty sure that's what he does. Because uh, into turn four, Karan told me that he's able to do 220 kph in this thing. Yup, and it's just so anxious and so nervous. It's just ready to go. I was bouncing all over the place on this road. It's definitely not meant for the street although you can technically drive it. It's like a little go-kart except you can see two people in. I love the fact that this is a no build. It just does what it is supposed to do. It's a race car. and you can completely see how this thing has been built i mean karan knows his he is like the guy when it comes to building hondas and you know driving on the track he is very nerdy very geeky about it so each and every part that has gone into this thing it's gone with some sort of thought you know some sort of meaning behind it and you can clearly see because this thing drives unlike anything else no front wheel drive car that i've ever driven drives like this probably karan's own uh, l15 swap brio was the closest thing but i think so this is just a little bit more special than that and i love the fact that karan is staying true to what he's trying to do with this car i asked him if there are any more plans uh, with the jazz well he was very straight forward he's not going to turbocharge the car because that will just ruin it the power delivery and everything will just get ruined he'll keep on spinning his wheels and that's not what he was this is a track car it should be able to put the power down and it should emphasize more on the handling and the braking and all of that stuff so no turbochargers for this car if anything he's going to keep it na and he's going to start doing uh like some proper proper power mods like putting a type r head you know changing the rods pistons and all of that stuff and after that with all of the mods that he's chosen he can probably push out like 280 to 290 hp which is a lot for this sort of a build and the lsd just goes to work even if you put your foot flat to the floor mid corner it will just grip up and go that's how effective an lsd is so this has to be one of the craziest builds that we've covered ever since we've been in delhi a big shout out to karan do follow him on instagram because he does some amazing stuff uh, we've covered his l15 swap brio now his k24 jazz and we're also going to be filming one more car of his very very soon so stay tuned for that a big shout out to sportech also for letting us come film at the workshop uh, they're very very sweet you know if you want to do a manual swap and do, or do some whack to your car in delhi or noida sportech is the place to go they do manual swap engine swaps anything that you want so do check them out as well subscribe to the channel uh, follow us on instagram and i'll catch you in the next one bye bye